Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will be understanding aggregate function in SQL, right? So what is aggregate function? Let's first understand the problem statement or the use case. When do we use aggregate function? So let's say this is output of SQL. We have four records as output. Now, what if I want to have maximum, maximum of the output, okay? I want to get what is the maximum of salary. This is salary, this is ID, this is name and this is salary, okay? So I want to get what is the maximum of salary. And what if I want to get minimum of salary? Similarly, let's say I want to get what is the average salary of the employee, okay? Average salary of the employee. So similar things, similar scenarios when we want to perform the operation on a group of data, on a group of record, then there comes the use of aggregate function, okay? So let's write down the formal requirement or the definition when do we use this aggregate function. So we use aggregate function to group multiple rows together as input to form a single value output, right? So this is a group of records and we take it as input and we want to find a single value output that is what is maximum that is when we ask maximum it should print 7000 something like this okay similarly we can ask for average we can ask for minimum fine so these are the use of aggregate function now in general or basic sql provides five aggregate functions so we have to learn first one is count then we have min then we have max then we have average and we have sum okay so all are very much clear from the name itself that count is used to find out how many number of rows or uh, if we provide inside count, if we provide column name, then it will count the number of rows for that particular column. Okay. Or if we give simply strict, it will count the number of record. Okay. Minimum is, let's say we want to ask minimum of salary. So as this one is a salary, it will find out among this group of output, which one is the minimum. Okay. So it will output 2000 because this is minimum. Okay. So for minimum, we have to provide a column, okay, an attribute here, fine. Similarly for maximum, it's very much similar. Instead of minimum value, it will give us maximum value for that record, okay. And in case of average, it will just take arithmetic mean of all the values, okay. So it will give us the average of all these four salaries if we ask for average of salary. Okay, and in case of sum, it will just give us the addition of all these four values. Fine. So this is the pretty much all about this aggregate function. And let's say if I want to count the unique values of some particular column. For example, if I have here one more record, let's say 0, 5 and z and it's 2000 okay then what if i want to count what is the unique number of salaries in my database so in that case what we will provide we will provide count and then inside distinct a okay or the attribute distinct attribute name okay attribute name so what it will do in this case if we don't provide this distinct keyword it will give us the count as five but if we provide this distinct keyword it will count the distinct values for the salary okay so as we have repeated value here for 2000 fine so 2000 will be counted only once fine similarly we can use distinct for average sum okay for these two also we can use distinct we cannot use 
for minimum maximum we cannot use distinct it, it won't make any sense right fine so as it is operating on single value or it will uh, just count the mean uh, find the minimum or maximum so there is no sense of writing this distinct fine so this is all about the basics of aggregate function in next lecture let's solve a problem and run it on terminal to see how it gives us the output okay so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching